Have you ever had like one of those days where you just don't want to do anything? Like you're forcing yourself to do chores around the house, but like you truthfully just don't want to. Today is that day. Hey, 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 what's up y'all? It's me, Jenny here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Getting Some Me Time Through Crafts. So today I wanted to test out this white medium point sharpie now i was working on this paint by numbers and i was gonna do a whip and chat until i pulled up the canvas and i saw that this paint this wonderful pale blue when it dried <clears throat> i can see the numbers right through and i put paint on top and i can still see the numbers right through when it that dried Sorry, like this is as close as I can get uh, to my canvas. So if you can see, there's like a number one right here. And well, I figured I am going to test out this white pen. And I'm going to blank out the one and then put paint on top and see if it works. So here's the killer. I just noticed that this is oil based. And well, the acrylic paints are water-based. And if you know anything about science, like water and oil don't mix. But because I am in one of those moods, I'm gonna test it out. But before I test it out, I'm going to... Okay, I'm gonna make you guys go a little further out. I will show you what the tip looks like. Okay, and I am going to test out a little section right here. If this is working, what, like the effect that it gives. Okay, well, I shook it. Nothing is coming, is something supposed to come out? Like, nothing's coming out. I'm pushing down. See, you guys, like you can push down on this thing. I guess, you know, to get the product to come out, but nothing is coming out. I just, do I have to squish? I can't even squish the pen, it's hard. Like it's, okay, here you go. Okay, if you guys can see, if I can come closer, I have here. It looks like whiteout. So let's see, I'm gonna blow on it. And because it's oil, I'm guessing oil takes a while to dry. I don't know, but I'm going to touch it anyway. And look at that. It really, it looks like white out. Okay, I'm going to test out to see if the number one, oh gosh, the stuff, it doesn't come off my finger. I'm trying to wipe it on a piece of paper. The paper, the paper towel is damp and it's not coming out. Well, you know what? Let's just test it out anyway. So. Okay, you guys are as close. <clears throat> I'm working on a really small table and that's the sound that you hear of the paints rubbing up against the table because everything is in really cro close proximity to me. But this canvas is a 40 by 50 and it's really big. Okay, so here's the number one right there and I'm going to dab it. I guess you just have to let it dry. There's other number one spots here. Um, that I can cover. Oh gosh, you guys, I really hope I don't forget where I've uh, put the, um, <clears throat> the Sharpie. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six spots. Okay. By the way, Sharpie, if this works, feel free to sponsor me on my next video. Reach out. My information is in the description bar down below. Okay. Now let's, I think this has dried now. So I'm going to see if it covers properly. Okay, it's like semi-dry, but let's try it out. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. It actually works. But now the problem is, is that like the section where I didn't dab it is a lot darker than the white patch, but it covered. See, like there's like, you know, see it's like blue, 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 and then suddenly it hits this patch of white, blue, and it actually looks lifted off the canvas. Like it, it created some texture. I don't hate it, but it's like I need to put on a lot of paint. Let's say that works. Okay, let's test these little patches here. So here is the verdict. This is the original patch that I covered with the Sharpie marker and it is now dry. I can still see the white patch underneath and I'm assuming it's because water and oil don't mix. Is it a good resolution? Well, you know what, here's the truth. It's better then having the number show, is it a perfect solution? No. I do have to put a couple of paints. Um, I mean, sorry, I do have to put the acrylic paint on. I do have to lay it on pretty heavy so you don't see the white patch underneath. Um, and because of that, and the time it's taking for me to cover that little white patch, I don't know if it's worth, I don't, Think it's worth it because like I'm on layer probably four now just trying to cover the white patch I can just put four layers on top of each other <clears throat> without the sharpie and I'm sure the number will cover that is my final verdict about the sharpie so yeah I would highly recommend it if you are only covering a number, but the color that you're covering the Sharpie with is also light as well. So this is uh, a really good solution to your problem for now. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this experiment. I'm happy about it. So I'll leave the video right here. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe all down below or you can catch me on all my social media, which is right here. That's at Kiss Jenny. That's spelled kiss.jenny, Jenny with an IE. Or if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, click on my face right here. Or if you wanna catch me in my last video, click right here. I upload videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.